Hello again, and welcome back to another video. This time, I'm here with the default weapons that you get as a level one um, when you get right into the game. I'm going to be doing the Soul Harvest uh, with basically what you would have as a level one, which is nothing, um, aside from these very default weapons as the sword with six damage, the axe with... Uh, six damage as well, and then the bow with four damage. And yeah, I also don't have any Axio perks. I'll show that. Uh, <clears throat> this one, Pierce, uh, you can't really pierce with anything, I guess. Here, I'll, I'll look through. Maybe there's something else that's better, but I don't think so. Knockback. Oh, shield knockback. That's better. Okay, because you can't get any knockback without a shield uh, for shield knockback. So that's that's a nothing perk. Then we've got the uh, poison. Uh, you know what? I don't really want to do that. I want to do blast. So you don't have any explosions in the uh, when you're not in lava forge. And I'm gonna do vile halls. If I didn't do vile halls, I wouldn't. I would just use this one. Um, but this doesn't help me with uh, anything outside of uh, lava forge. Just aside from maybe explosion barrels. I don't even know if the perk works though. And then this one, Absorb, Decreasing Fall Damage, don't really need that, I've explained that before. And Fortune doesn't help in combat, so yeah, basically no Exo Perks, default weapons. I'm going to go ahead and do it as if I was a beginner to this game, uh, but obviously with a lot of experience and I've gotten slightly good at the game. But yeah, Vile Halls, I'm going to go ahead and just do the first uh, Soul Harvest that comes to me with the Tier 1 easiest difficulty and i'll explain well for one there's the dungeon modes we're doing soul harvest and objective use soul staff to collect lost souls for the soul keeper and unlock new potions to fabricate from the souls that you collect in this mission but yeah i'm gonna go ahead get straight to it with my very default looking weapons Let's see if my sword nope can't get my sword out but, oh, almost got the axe. Uh, I do like doing that. That's a, that's a fun thing to do. Entering Phantom Morass. All right. And I got to say hi to the soul dude. I made one video on Soul Harvest before. This is probably my least favorite game mode um, in both what it gives you, <laughs> which is souls, that, which I don't need anymore because I've already gotten as much as I need. And it's just, I don't know, I don't like collecting souls. It's kind of cool to have a soul staff, but yeah. So basically what I can do here is um, I'm going to leave the souls till the end to collect too. Uh, well, should I? No, I guess I'll just collect them. So the, the video I made before was more of an advanced um, soul harvest video, but this one I'll just do as... Oops, you gotta hit them. So you gotta stun them first and then hit them, then kill them. Um, that way you can get the souls. See if I kill him without here, my sword out. If I kill him without hitting him first with this staff with the beam, then there's no soul. Um, so yeah, gotta gotta use that soul staff. Oop, that was my sword. Can't really throw swords. All right, get the soul staff. You can even whack with the soul staff. If I wanted to, I could do that. Oh, ow, right in the face. But yeah, so it looks like it doesn't do a terribly bad amount of damage. So, viable, I guess. Okay, but it's it's ideal, I'd say, as a beginner to whip out your, uh, your hatchet, throw the hatchet at the enemy. And the soul staff is pretty long, though, so if you do want to use that, not a terrible idea instead of the sword. Because um, your sword with six damage probably doesn't do more. I'm guessing this does like four damage or something. Maybe, I don't know, it's pretty bad. But yeah, so I collected nine souls. That's all that they asked. Um, and there was another soul I could have collected that too. I'll, I'll collect that later, but it opened a gate. You also get a key, which, ooh, I almost started the thing. Um, but I'm gonna go in right now. Not gonna do the thing where I wait till the end. That should have just activated some enemies. Yep, here we are. Oh, and yeah, I don't have any potions, so I could have died. Wait, music's still playing. What's it playing for? 
What kind of enemies are attacking? I see nothing. Actually, I hear something. I think I hear a zombie. Not sure where, though. He's probably up at the top. I don't know. That barrel? Okay, well. What in the world? Okay. Whatever. I'm gonna open this gate. Maybe that'll activate some more guys. Nope. Doesn't look like it. That's fine. Break this. Give me some health potions. Nice. That lever is just there in case you come from that direction down here. Then you can open this gate from there. But we don't want to do that. Ooh. Slime. Dead slime. Okay. Uh, let me get this last vase just so I got some health to work with. Because I don't have vitality. I am a quote-unquote beginner. <laughs> These are my quotation marks in this game because I can't get two fingers, so quote, unquote. All right, um, here we go. Continuing. I, I do like these these weapons, even though they're like very default looking. It's They're beautiful. Beautiful stuff. So you can also use your bow. Um, it's just a little bit more difficult, a little bit more steps to do it. Um, so you would have to tag the thing, whip out your bow, shoot them, and then grab it again, and then take it. And that is just inefficient. I think uh, Mystic Marvel had made a video on that, that strategy, and it's just not ideal, in my humble opinion. Um, but yeah, in theory, I don't even need my sword, because I got a staff to whack things, I've got a an axe to whack things, and throw at things. Okay. Ooh, good thing that hit the, uh, this guy. There we go, got him. All right, and this is my least favorite Soul Harvest map, um, which, I mean, you can have, you can have this specific dungeon uh, room within a dungeon raid, or basically anything else. I think maybe an exo, Exo perk, oh, sorry, Crystal Hunt. Maybe not Crystal Hunt. That, that might be the only room you can't get this, but maybe on the side rooms. Um, oh, ooh, my goodness. Yeah, so they take, take a lot of hits with this Soul Staff. It is not ideal. However, it is long range, as I just saw there. And this guy, I might have to, uh, might have to shoot him, because he does not look like, oh, yep, okay, he comes down. Wait, you just got hit by an arrow and didn't get stunned. That was weird. Give me the staff. Come on. There we go. What am I at? 92 health still. I only got hit once. Oh, okay. So, I tagged that guy. I don't know if that actually did anything, to be honest. I'm going to see if I can melee him, though. Ugh. You can only hit him in the head or the legs, I think. Yeah, let me, let me try to hit him in the body. Ugh. I don't think you can. But yeah, the... Oh, you know what? Shoulder. Did I hit him in the shoulder or was that his head? I think I'm hitting him in the shoulder. Yeah, or the side of the body. That looks like it's a weak point. <laughs> Ooh. Oh my. Fun stuff, fun stuff. See, I can trip him. It's really easy to trip him. <laughs> ah, give me my sword. Yeah, get down there. All right. We got one, <laughs> one soul from that long fight. And we got some more guys. Oh, I missed it. Let me grab my sword, finish him off. Oh, geez. I'm getting, getting hurt. Um, and I had an arrow just stuck in my forehead. Round finished, because I collected all the souls. All right, now, give me key. What do I have, 75 health? Yeah. I don't need any health still. Okay, there's a key. And not that way. You gotta go this way. Do I have any haste? No, I don't. Oh, man, it's such a big room. I gotta walk all the way over here. Go, 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 go. And without haste, it's whew, the perk, I mean. Ooh, terrible throw. All right, hand me some gold. I don't know why I didn't just put this key in my inventory. Oh. What in the world am I doing? I'll get that later. Um, got a potion. Whack a thing. 
don't need that even though we have a staff it's not a staff that needs a gem all right let's see what i get from this chest a power gem fantastic ace potion okay no weapons thank you very not much all right now hand me that potion thank you force grab Oh, and yeah, now I got haste. So maybe I'll use that in the next room um, if I need it. <laughs> All right. Let's see if I can activate him from over here. I'm holding down A. Nope, you have to be right up on him. And at a weird angle sometimes. <clears throat> sometimes he just spawns that staff randomly in like a weird place. Let's see if he spawns it right next to me. I think he will. Come on, give me that. Yep. Yep, so he, he just, he hands it to you wherever you happen to be. Um, if you have multiple teammates, I think it just randomly uh, gives it to, or spawns it next to a certain teammate that you don't know for sure who's it going to be. All right. <laughs> Doi. Oh, shucks. Ooh. Yeah, the staff, holding the staff. I've made videos about it and talked about it a lot how it's it's weird angle to hold the staff um i don't know oh shoot that was not my axe i don't know what i'm doing Ugh. got him ah 67 health oh no who in the world oh wait oh there there this guy is hitting me okay and then this guy we gotta kill so this is this is when it's good to have a bow and I could hit him with a hatchet, but... Oh, you know what? I just hit him in the eyeball. I didn't know I could hit his individual eyes. That's kind of cool. Let's see if I can hit this. Oh, I did! Whoa! That's awesome! How did I not know this? <laughs> All the times that I've played this game, I just didn't know that. Also, there's, that Octoculus does not give soul, which kind of sucks. Alright. Dang! Hanky man! See if I can snipe him. Nope. I just put that staff behind me as if I, I could have put it in my back. <laughs> but it just laid right behind me, which is fine. There we go. What else we got? Uh, I don't... Oh, zombie. Thank you. And, yeah, as you can see, I'm doing a lot of the axe throwing strat. Oh, I thought that was going to be a headshot. That guy cannot jump down. Zombies can't. I thought that was a headshot. What? Okay, there we go. <laughs> Zombies only die from headshots. Or undeads, I think they're officially called. There we go. Oops. That got stuck. All right, let me kill these archers first. Uh oh, I don't think I killed that guy. Yeah, I didn't. Ugh. Okay, now kill this. I already hit him. Oh no, there's another archer. That's annoying. I killed this guy. Oh, and another one. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't even have to kill <laughs> this skeleton. Uh, I think they just the bosses spawn at random throughout the soul harvest so th this is the closest that the game has to like a wave um kind of like a zombie raid trial mode or whatever oh you don't get another key that's right you taste you know uh, not that i needed another key but i'll take some gold oh that would have sucked i could have killed myself yeah, there's always a key right there, but I don't need it because there's nothing else to open. But yeah, here we are. Default, beginner, complete. <laughs> um, that, was, that was interesting stuff. Off we go to the main dungeon. I mean, outpost. Not a dungeon. But yeah, you can see, uh, even though I'm max level, I was playing as if I was level 1. And 43 souls, you can make that higher if you use the strat that I did in the other video. Um, and then afterwards, you get a, 
a chest at the end because you don't really get chests throughout. And even throughout, oh, I, I forgot, that's, that's why I didn't get a weapon. You can't get weapons in Soul Harvest from chests inside of the Soul Harvest. You can only get it from this chest at the end, which I got an ice staff. Don't want that because I already have tons of ice staffs and the perks aren't any different. So gosh darn, why'd you have to do that to me, Soul Man? Uh, we still don't know his name. Reaper Scythe guy, Soul Harvest person, whoever you are. Thank you. Not. All right. Well, that was that was the mission. Beginner, beginner soul harvest. Now, all you have to do is replicate it if you're a beginner. And um, obviously, replicating is a little difficult because you got to get used to the mechanics and the how hard you have to swing and all, all these other tips that I have kind of splattered around throughout my content. Um, I haven't really made a tips and tricks video, but there's there's a decent amount of those out there and you can learn as you go. Maybe I'll make one at some point, but yeah. Um, I, I think at the end of videos, I'm gonna start asking for recommendations of what to do. Uh, obviously once the new update comes out, whenever that happens to come out, uh, I'm gonna be doing new content or new, whatever is new, I'll be doing that stuff. Um, but until then, I'm open to suggestions because there's so much to do in this game. You just got to have an imagination. I don't have the greatest imagination. However, I will do my best until then. And again, suggestions, always for it. Um, aside from that, like, comment, and subscribe. I'm getting close to monetization, which is crazy to me. Uh, if that happens, thank you so much. Um, but it's, it's still a ways away. We're progressing. Um, so yeah, other than that, peace out. Have a nice rest of your day.